All right, welcome back to the Bits of Good Boot Camp. Today we're going to be talking about MongoDB, and then in a little bit we're going to talk about Mongoose as well. So the first thing that we need to touch on is the difference between a SQL and a NoSQL database. So right in front of us we have a very big oversimplification of the differences between a SQL and a NoSQL database, but it serves to illustrate our point pretty well. So on the left here we see that this is a traditional database table um, and we see that we have different rows representing different users in this case or I guess it's customers here but um, notice that this data is um, like in a table format each table has an ID or each row in the table has an ID um, the properties is are predefined by a schema and so our data has to fit into this schema and something that's not illustrated here, but is worth mentioning as well, is that uh, data in a SQL database is typically normalized. So you don't want to repeat data across different tables. Instead, you would use references to other tables, and then you'd use things like joins to combine different tables to kind of get your whole picture of the data. Um, so that's over here on the SQL side of things. Now, on the right, we have our, um, our NoSQL database example. And so you'll notice that things are a little bit different here because, in essence, it's just a key value store. So keys here, these are essentially our IDs, and so these are going to be randomly generated by whatever your NoSQL database is, and then we have our values. And so here, um, we're representing almost the same information as before, where we have our like first name and last name. Um, and something that's that's not necessarily illustrated in this graphic, but is worth noting, is that NoSQL databases typically don't have a schema. So that means that all the data doesn't have to look the same. So for example, I could have maybe in this in this value here, um, maybe we don't have a last name for George. Um, so maybe this field isn't included. Or perhaps a better example, maybe here for Luke, um, we actually have another field that's that's not listed here but you could imagine maybe there's another field that's returning customer and it's a boolean true or false um, so this is another example of how you can have like unstructured schema data in a NoSQL database um, but in general the most important things to note is that over here we have our tables um, and here everything's are in documents so let's kind of dive a little deeper into the terminology here um, so I used some of these words in the last slide, so let's go over what they mean. So at the top level we have databases. Um, both SQL and NoSQL databases are in fact databases. Um, from this point forward we're going to be referring to MongoDB as our NoSQL database, so uh, I'm just going to start using that term. Now in our previous slide I showed that we had a table on the left, um, and that was the way that we organized data of the same type in a SQL database. So in a NoSQL database, or in MongoDB, we actually call that a collection. So if we go back here, we would say that this is a collection. And on the left here, we would say that this is a table. Um, so this is what we call it in NoSQL. Um, in SQL land, every entry in our table is a row. And so again, here we have rows. In NoSQL land, every entry in our collection is called a document. So here, this would be one document this would be another document, and this is finally a third document. Uh, finally, for SQLs we have columns that represent different uh, pieces of data that are in a row. For NoSQL we call those fields. So here again these are columns which you can obviously see why they're called columns. And here we have what we call fields. So first name is a field here, last name is a field, uh, so on and so forth. So that's about it. We've covered the very basic introduction of what is a NoSQL and a SQL database, as well as going over some of the terminology. In the next video, we'll learn more.